So it's been 79 days since I became a full-time blogger and a lot of you have been kindly asking how is it going, what am I up to, so I thought today's video I'll give you a quick rundown on my life as a full-time blogger. So let's get into this. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel again. I get asked this question quite a bit. What's it like to be a full-time blogger? How much do you earn? What do you do? That kind of question. So I thought in today's video, I'll just make a really quick, friendly video. I'm not gonna do a lot of fancy editing or anything like that. Just kind of a little bit of a chat really about my life since I turned a full-time blogger. So yeah, so January the 1st, I officially became a full-time blogger. I say blogger, but it's probably content creators, probably a better word for it, because I always think of blogging as somebody who documents their life story in a blog each day, and that's not what I do. I do various things, really. So I build websites that earn passive income and affiliate commissions. I do YouTube. I'm building an email list. I do some consultation, I do a keyword care service where I can find you keywords that can easily rank or help your website rank its content. So I do that service. So I do various things really. So it's difficult to put all that under blogging. So I like to call myself a content creator. I know it might be a little bit stuck up, I don't I don't really know, but that's that's what I do anyway. So, you know, yes, it's been 79 days and it's been it's been amazing, but it's been difficult as well, to be honest. And a lot of you might be surprised to hear that, but, you know, it's been difficult circumstances for sure, because obviously we've been in lockdown here in the UK. In fact, we're still in lockdown. So I think the um, I think the turmoil of being in lockdown for six months now is getting to everybody, and I am certainly can't wait to get out. In fact, I've nine days left before golf course is open, and trust me, uh, you won't see me for dust. I, I need to get out of this house. I need to get away from this office space, which is actually my kitchen. Um, but I need to get out of here and go get some fresh air and, you know, enjoy life a little bit. So it has been difficult on that side of things. But as far as building a business up, it's been very rewarding and it actually has been quite successful. So obviously up to January, I've been doing it as a hobby part time, building my business up. And it was only at the point in January where I, where I actually truly believed I was at a point where I could do this full time. And the reason I'd made that decision was because I wanted to make sure I had enough of a buffer with my income that if anything happened, if my website crashed or got hacked or there was a core update and it wiped out my traffic, that I could still pay my bills, my mortgage, food bills, all the expenses that each family has. So I needed to make sure that that was in place so that when I quit my job, which I did on January the 1st, that I would be able to easily make up the income plus pay my taxes, my accountant's fees, and still have enough left at the end of the day to cover what I was earning. So thankfully, touch wood, that is happening. So January, February is notoriously a slow month, plus we're in lockdown, but I'm still managing to do that. In fact, I probably doubled my salary, so I'm really, really pleased with that. And I think the best months are yet to come because... If you've been following my story, you know that I've been building a mega website. Well, that is now three months since I published the first piece of content on it. Obviously, not much life on the website yet, even though it's had a lot of money invested in it. Plus, I sold fishkeepingforever.com, which was one of my main sites before I became full-time um, YouTuber, blogger, whatever. Um, so obviously, I lost that income coming in. But I had the capital from that. So it's been a tricky time, but really, really positive. I'm uh, building my YouTube channel, that's going well. All these new websites that I've been building and buying are all starting to come to fruition now. So that's looking nice. So we should be okay. So I think we're set for a really good summer. But there are a lot of other things that I didn't realize would be um, play a heavy part in doing this full time. Uh, and number one is there is actually a lot more pressure than surprisingly than there was when I was doing a full-time job because when I was doing a full-time job if my website earned five hundred dollars it was kind of five hundred dollars just to spend you could you know dip into it and have a holiday or do what you wanted it didn't really matter but now that money is earmarked for paying bills and replacing my salary so I've actually probably felt more under pressure the last 79 days than I did in the two years uh, previously building this business up because now suddenly whoa 
There's no salary check coming in from my job. It is purely down to me. And the fact that the responsibility and the pressure is on me to provide for my family. So yeah, that side of it hit me a lot harder than I actually thought it would be. And then the second part of it is all the legal and clerical side of it. So the accountancy, the tax, the registering your company, all that side of it has actually took a lot more time and expense and it took a lot more of my energy than I thought it would do. But I suppose that's just going to be the first few months getting it all set up. I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that you know my accountant's good enough that you know now they will handle everything. Now as it's all set up, I should, as long as I can keep pretty decent records, be able to hand a lot of that burden over to them. So, but in the first you know 79 days, that has been a lot worse than I thought it would be. So, but fingers crossed, I think we're there now with that. And then some other things that's uh, obviously concerned me is that I'm, I'm constant relying on numbers. So I'm constantly checking my traffic, my Amazon sales, my YouTube subscribers, because that is all now relevant to my living. That's, you know, that is all really, really relevant. So I'm constantly worried that, you know, Amazon might wipe their affiliate program out. Google might do a core update and affect my site. I might say something wrong on YouTube and upset my audience and my subscriber count goes down. So there are a lot more things like that to worry about. So that has played on my mind recently. And uh, I know it's something I will have to get used to. You know, I'm not asking for any pity or anything here, you know, but if you're going to become a full-time blogger or full-time YouTuber, you need to understand that these are the things that is going to hit you. Uh, and they're not some of the things that I was expecting, um, but they are some of the things that are affecting me. So that's why I'm sharing it with you in a video today. So I also think with me doing YouTube and sharing my story and sharing my journey, I think that has also added a ton of pressure on me, which I probably didn't need and probably can do without. Um, but I really enjoy making the videos. I enjoy the feedback from you guys. And I wanted to document that journey. And then I hoped with me sharing videos and sharing my information, it would help you guys possibly get to where you want to be. Because let's face it, you know, I, 2018, 2019, that's what I was doing. I was watching YouTubers thinking, I want to be just like you. So, you know, I watched Alex over at WP Eagle. I wanted to be just like him. I wanted to do what he does for a living. And, you know, look at me now. Three years later, that is exactly what I'm doing. So it is really, really possible. And I hope my journey shared with you guys shows you that that is possible. But like I say, with YouTube comes a lot of pressure and responsibility. I'm always worried that I'll constantly say the wrong thing and give you the wrong advice. So, you know, I always say in my videos, and I'm going to start reiterating this a lot more in my videos. I don't teach you how to do things. I just show you what I'm doing. And if that works and that helps you out, then great. If you can take a, take a snippet of advice out there and it helps you grow your website, that is exactly what I'm doing. But I never set out to do, you know, two hour tutorials, how to build a website or anything like that. It's just my personal journey, my business, my websites, and I show you what I'm doing. And I hope that I can still say, stay focused to that. Obviously, I do try out a lot more products. I do test a lot more tools. Uh, you know, I'm t currently testing Link Whisper out again. You know, I've had it for years on my site, but it's actually been upgraded now and I'm testing that out. And it'd be silly of me not to show you the results. I'm also testing uh, Google Web Stories. And again, it would be silly of me not to tell you whether that's working or it's not working. So... I hope you understand with these videos, that is exactly why I do them. It's not, yes, I do make an, a, an affiliate commission if you click the links. Of course I do. That's how I make my living. And I hope that, you know, if I'm putting three or four hours effort into a video to share my findings and give you, give you, giving you my top secret tips, uh, I think that is worthy of you clicking the link and if you're buying it, giving me a small commission. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. That is how YouTubers and content creators make their living. So it's been a really interesting 79 days. I am absolutely, I am loving it. Like I say, there is some tension always around me and around the business. So, you know, if you're thinking of doing this full time, you know, maybe make sure that it's absolutely where you want to be. Make sure, number one, your income is well above your salary. You'll need at least 30 to 40% at least above what you're making now to be able to quit your job and do it full time. Because trust me, as soon as you quit your job, something will happen. You'll get hit somewhere and your income will go down. So you need a really big buffer there to make sure if that happens, you're not panicking. And that's kind of where I am at the minute now. I think I'm at a place where 
if something happened, or there's a car update, or one of my site got hacked, I could still pay my bills. And that's that's a big pressure off my head. But certainly, uh, day one when I did it, it was a big panic and a little bit of a worry for me. But I was sensible and, you know, I resisted that urge to not say to my boss, you know, I quit. Oh my God, the amount of times I wanted to say that and my wife would say, you're not there yet. You are not in a place to quit your job. And she was right. I, I wasn't. So I'm glad I did wait that extra 12 months because, you know, uh, trust me, as soon as you quit your job, something will happen. There'll be a car update or something will happen. So you need to make sure you are really, really covered with that. But I am loving it and my audience is growing. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everybody who subscribes, comments and gives me some advice. Like I said, just remember, you know, this is my journey. I'm sharing with you what I'm doing. You know, don't take it as gospel. I might do things wrong and that's fine. Um, but I don't want to be responsible for you guys, you know, saying, oh, really, Cal, you did that wrong and it's affected my website. That is a concern that I do have. So just remember in all my videos, it's my experiences. It's not me telling you what to do. But for now, I think that's it. That's 79 days into being a full-time blogger, full-time content creator, whatever you want to call it. And so far, it's looking good. I just really, you know, I can't wait to get out of lockdown and get out of here for a little bit. So thanks for joining me. If you like this kind of thing, please do subscribe. Press that thumbs up button. You've been doing that a lot, which is brilliant. It's really helping me out and I really do appreciate it. So for now, I will see you in the next video.